All right, guys, we are here at the shop. Looks like Jared's here already. First day of him going on the road. So it is about 6, 12 a.m. So we gotta get him all situated. It'll be busy day. Busy day. Good morning. Good. Morning. Are you? Good. Are you ready? Oh yeah. All right. So I got um, a vest for you, okay. safety vest and a hat, just oh. in case there's some places that you might have to use that. Okay. Yeah. So here's that. You can put it in wherever you need to. Okay. Right there's the vest and safe hat. I got to put this in there. So. Yep. Um. Yeah. Binders. guys welcome back to the vlog hope you enjoyed um, the last vlog there uh, so today you guys um, we got to get Jared equipped with the fire extinguisher here um, that's and the paperwork and then he should be good to go ready to roll he's going to uh, head out um, his first pick let me see this morning see where he's got to go um, let's see here so he's going to pick up at Canova South Dakota um, which is uh, east yeah no west west of us uh, he's gonna deadhead two hours and then he's going to drop it off in Olive Branch, Missouri. So then he'll shoot down south. Um, the uh, the load is 3,500 pounds, uh, four pallets. I'm excited. Our first load with the Ram. I wish I could have gone out to with mine. Oh, my GMC is in the shop. It's going to be down for maybe two weeks, you guys. Um, it's getting a new transmission. After coming back from the Equip Expo, it was just shifting weird, like, like uh, it was just slipping. And uh, so I took it into my mechanic, and uh, he looked at it, and yeah, transmission is shot. Um, he's gonna put a new one in, a, a, a whole new transmission. They're not like rebuilding; it's a brand new one with the valve body and everything, and. So he said it's cheaper just to get it a whole new one. And uh, instead of them rebuilding it, trying to find the parts and stuff, rebuilding it. And so that's what's happening. I, I was hoping to get a run on with the GMC, but that's not the case. Um, yeah, it would have been great, both of us going out. And I'm excited to see where this hot shot thing goes. I know when it break down, when things break down, it is expensive. 
but you gotta save for those rainy days so um just gotta run through it and get the truck fixed and uh keep moving you know so all right bud oh yeah yeah i need the electrical tape and that thanks um let's uh get uh this in the uh truck all right guys so jared's gonna be rolling out All right, guys, good morning. Garrett is going up. Truck is going up. Heading to Canova or something, South Dakota, something like that. There we go. First day, first day. Oh, not you, yeah. not you. I was talking to my boss back there. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> you called me creep? <laughs> you called such a creep. That was good. So I get mine fixed. Feel young or what? No, dude, I feel old. I can't even get out of that thing. It's too little. What did that lady want? She brought a shirt in that she wants something put on. Oh, just one shirt? Yeah. She normally brings in, well now it's getting close to Christmas, so she'll bring in stacks of them at a time. Hmm. Any leads? Um, a couple. We got the uh, diesel heater here all installed or um, hooked up here you guys I've extended the uh, control wires as you can see spliced it and this is gonna run into the cab and then this whole unit's gonna stay out uh, in the back of the truck so a diesel goes in here control from the inside and then um, like this power power um, wire is gonna run inside as well into the Jackery um, Jackery's the the Jackery power unit's gonna be installed um, running that giving that power so we're gonna try it out here you guys um, what I want to do is maybe splice this here I'm gonna splice that so. so yeah this is the H calorie um, enclosed diesel heater 150 bucks I'll put a link down below you guys uh, you guys want to go get yourself one but uh, I have another one that's in my GMC and I love it so works real good so this one let me see here so I had to buy another uh, 12 volt plug here from Amazon. 
because this one doesn't come with it. So we'll get this and then we'll crimp this here. Crimp it into place. Oh shoot, hopefully I didn't crush it. There. Yeah, we should be good. Push this down and then I'm gonna tape it here. So yeah, this unit really is um, it heats up the uh, it's an overkill, it heats up the cab pretty good without idling the truck. Um, I didn't have any issues with it last year, last winter. Yeah, it doesn't draw that much power um, after it gets running, so it doesn't use too much uh, of your power unit. So yeah. I'd highly recommend getting this unit. If you're gonna do, if you don't want to idle your truck, because idling your truck in the winter isn't that great, it isn't good for the truck. So I always keep this on the setting one, and that's plenty. It's like got five settings for the temp. So, so yeah, this will run into my truck as well, right here. Go into the jackery. Shoot. I don't know if that's going to be long enough. Might not be long enough. Hmm. Alright, guys. So we got it all uh, wired up and everything, but we're not going to run it yet. Uh, we're going to wait um, until we're ready to install it on the truck. So um, at least it's there. It's ready, all set up. I like this because it's very quiet. Not like the other ones I've had in the past. So it's all enclosed. So yeah, we're gonna. I'll show you guys the. Once we, inst I'll show you guys how to install it into the truck once I get it all done. Once we get the truck back, and uh, yeah. Because these aren't our shirts, so we don't technically need to check them in. So however they come in, that's how they come in. No, he's in Sioux Falls. He's already in Sioux Falls? Yeah. Oh my. They got him parked. How do you know this? Because uh, there's this camera. Like, On your dash truck? cam? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, so right there's a DOT garage. Right off the highway. He's getting inspected right now. Oh, he's not even loaded, is he? No. <laughs> so they do it when you're unloaded, too? Yeah. Oh geez, poor kid. Oh my gosh. He'll be fine, right? I hope so. Everything's legal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he'll be good. It's probably a good learning experience. Let him do it while he's like I know, too. I'm loaded. When it's open. Okay. Gotcha. So he's in the Valley Springs Welcome Center and Rest Area. Like the border. Oh, no, no problem. You get it all strapped up? Uh, yeah, I just have this one strap here, otherwise they're all, uh, all tied down. Okay. Um, but the bill of, bill of leading, yep. uh, does he have to sign anything? Yeah, yeah, he just at least sign the bill of leading anywhere, you know. It should say shipper or something there. You know. Shipper signature? Yeah. Carrier? Yep, he's a yeah. shipper. We're the carrier. Okay. Yep. Alright, yeah, I'll... All right, perfect. But yeah, once I get the strap uh, fixed to your eye, we'll send you a picture. Okay. What'd you say? So depressing. What'd you guys ship it out? You guys ship her mess out? The uniform today? Should you charge them? And I 
get charged from fifty dollar handling fee for doing it. Didn't we tell them? Yeah, I told them there was going to be a $50 handling fee, but they were supposed to be shipping it from Sandmar to us. They shipped it from, from them, them to us for us to turn around and ship it back to us. All right, guys. Well, today we got Jared, you know, on the road. Everything's going good. Uh, but I want to be on the road as well here, you guys. Oh, it's just uh, a little frustrating, but what else can you do you know so this back lot you guys my goal is to uh really get this hot shot trucking business going real good and um and save up and you know bank the money and uh you know when stuff like transmission or anything that we need to get fixed um we have money in the reserves to fix those things and just keep the business running you know and because um, uh, I really do enjoy the trucking you guys the trucking business side of things and like right now it's fall and you know I don't the landscaping had we're not pushing it as much and I don't want any I guess any jobs right now just because I want to get out trucking you know so this back lot, I eventually want to get rid of, I don't know, you know, I still do landscaping during the summer just because my son, you know, uh, he's off for the summer and gives us time to spend time together, things like that, and work together during the summer. But uh, I want this back lot eventually, I don't know, just to be like a home base for our hotshot trucks and stuff. So, yeah. So, today was just trying to find loads for Jared um, for tomorrow. But it's so hard because we're trying to gauge when he gets there um, to drop off. He's going to get there to drop off roughly around 12 or 1. And so, I'm trying to find. Um, a load that's around the Memphis, Tennessee area and around the Because um, he's not too far away from Memphis, Tennessee um, He's like right right on the border of uh, Mississippi and Memphis, Tennessee, you know uh, Olive Brand Mississippi, I think he's in so I don't know if I've been saying Missouri, but it's Mississippi uh, and um, so today I just literally been looking at the load boards and got the diesel heater um, all assembled and uh, yeah you guys I'm gonna still be looking on the load board um, tonight sometimes the brokers put stuff on tonight for tomorrow tomorrow um, there are a few loads out there um, but I've had to deadhead like a few hours but if I'm gonna deadhead a few hours, I wanna make sure it's worth it. And if we deadhead a few hours, then like a lot of the brokers and the shippers want it picked up tomorrow. Well, um, Jared's gonna be delivering or be at his location um, in Olive Brand, Mississippi around noon. And so, it doesn't give him much time to drive. He had to deadhead a few hours because a lot of places close between 2.30, 3 to 4. You know, so it's difficult. Difficult to pick up a load when you ha when you drop off like in the, new in the afternoon. Um, I like dropping stuff off first thing in the morning because then you can always find a load um, to pick up after you drop off in the morning like 8 a.m., 9 a.m., you know. And so... Um, We'll see. Um, we should be able to find something tomorrow um, for him. And then uh, if not, we can pick, we can deadhead. He can use that time to deadhead to pick up something for Thursday morning that will pay pretty good. So it makes it up. So that's what ha what's, that's what's happening today or that's what has happened today. And, um, you know, and uh, you guys, it's gonna be long, I don't know, two weeks or 
I don't know. I just hope my truck gets done quicker because I want to be out there running as well. And um, I I can't sit still. I gotta go out. I gotta I gotta hustle, you know. And so that's what's happening. And I hope you guys enjoy the new um, vlogs. I'm trying to incorporate the team and stuff in it as well, and just give you guys I don't know, show you guys a different view and perspective of my life and my business and um just being as transparent as i can so till next time you guys make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button comment down below or hit the not like button but at least you know you guys uh, took the time to view it if you didn't like it but if you like it and you love it give me a thumbs up till next time you guys take care